Hi, so this video is about how I use Google Calendar to stay organized. So I started using um, Google Calendar back in 2020 when I was a QA because um, it was very useful for my job. I ended up really enjoying using it. So the reason why I'm using Google Calendar instead of other platforms, Google Calendar is free. It's so easy to use. It can also be synced to different devices, to your PC, your laptop your phone so that's why i really use google calendar it's also secure since it's google so i use google calendar for both my phone and my pc my phone so it's easier access and then for pc you can make more changes when you use google calendar and laptop or pc so let's talk about staying organized so to me the reason why staying organized is very important because it's giving me clarity and peace of mind so it gives me peace of mind that i'm getting things done and i'm not forgetting anything it simply makes me happy that I'm organized. It gives me mental clarity as well since I'm not all over the place. You should find your reason or your why, why you have to use Google Calendar or just being organized in general. You have to think of a reason or your why. So for example, for me, my reason and my why, why I'm using Google Calendar is for peace of mind, mental clarity, and productivity. So the next one would be envisioning what you want to achieve when using Google Calendar. So you have to have like a goal on what you want to achieve on why you're using Google Calendar. My personal goal in using Google Calendar is making use of my time efficiently. Um, getting things done at a certain given time and that leads to personal growth and success that's what i believe so that's my personal goal what's your goal that you want to achieve when using google calendar so the next step would be listing all the tasks and schedules that you will be placing or using your google calendar so you have to list them all in like a in like a notebook or a paper list all of them um, randomly for example i would put like cleaning the bedroom laundry watching shows or shooting videos and such so like everything that you think that you would be placing in the google calendar so all the tasks events um schedules place them in, in a paper list them all and then the next thing that you would do is group them into categories for example if you're a va and you have multiple clients you can put like um, client one or client two or other stuff like errands work errands self-care you have to group them into categories um, based on what you have written or what you have listed so that's for staying organized so let's head into my screen so i can show you exactly how i use my google calendar okay welcome let's start with how to access the Google Calendar. So you'll have to open your laptop or your PC and go to the browser um, Google, and then you'll have to sign in to your um, preferred Gmail. Yeah, so open Google, go to Google Apps, and then go to Calendar, like so. So you'll have to use the email address that you want to sync your calendar with. So the email address that I use is that I use for random, um, yeah, random purposes. Um, because my formal email is just completely separate, so I only use my formal email for Gmail. Yeah, so you have already opened the Google Calendar. So this is what it looks like for me right now. So for example, today, I mean right now, I am shooting how I use my Google Calendar. So that's what's happening right now. So let's start with how to create calendars. Okay, so I just opened a different calendar using a different email, just so you can see what it looks like originally. So this is what the calendars look like originally if you haven't added any calendars. So what you would do to add a calendar is just click on this plus button and then create new calendar. So remember, you've already categorized all the tasks that you want to put in your calendar. So for example, I'm going to put home routine tasks. So 
so you'll just put create calendar and then select your specific time zone so that's already there so home routine task so you can put another one so like self care and then you can just keep adding so so client one and then there's client two so just um just add all the calendars all the categories that you have that you can think of so add all those first so by the way shane is playing beside me so if you hear like exaggerated clicks that's him that's him playing beside me <laughs> once you're done adding your calendars or your the categories so it should look like this once you've added all the calendars like that um it should all appear on the left hand uh, on the left side of the screen yeah so after you've already labeled um, categorized all your calendars it's time for color coding so if you look at my calendars so they're all like in really gentle colors so originally they don't look like that so this is what it looks like originally so they're very harsh colors for me so i recommend for you to change the color palette or color coding according to what you want you can make like all gray or all different shades of like blue all different shades of pink all just black and white grays but for me i like mine gentle pastel like colors so it's like like pleasant to the eyes yeah so this is um, my color coding so if you look in my previous like this week so it's uh it looks nice i like it it's just like very gentle pastel colors which i like to color code your calendar you'll have to click on this three button on the side of the name of the calendar and then you can pick the, these colors right here so for example maybe I'll, I'll click on wisteria so that's the color for this calendar and then for birthdays so you can also customize or choose specific colors so all you need to do is just click on add custom color and then you can just choose from here so for example i'm going to choose this color and then i'm going to make it lighter and gentler like that so that's for client number one and then i want to change different color as well but like close to like pink so let's try um this one maybe this one's peach okay so that's how you color code your calendars and you'll see later on what it looks like so for example this is what it looks like for after you've color coded your calendars um aside from that i also open my google calendar on my phone and then i just check how it looks like on the phone as well if i like it okay so this is my google calendar the google calendar that i use and then so yeah these are the colors so oh, i really like the colors how it looks on my phone and the PC. So I recommend doing that as well. So in this stage, um, I'll talk about the weekly planning and time blocking in your calendar. I also like to plan my week according to like the different days. So for example, Monday is about planning. So it's about um, arranging or planning out my week. So that's what I do on a Monday. If you click here, it's considered as like all day. And then I'll just put planning. This is a, an ongoing event. So it's every Monday. So I would click on weekly on Monday, like that. Assign your days for the week. So for example, Monday would be for planning. Tuesday would be the webinars I join and then surveys and then Wednesday would be content creation like what I'm doing right now and then Thursday and Friday for the business days and then Saturday would be quality time with my husband or date time and then Sunday would be home routine tasks or pamper day or family day so um, that's for Sunday so after that um, it's time for time blocking. So for time blocking, let's just say you have a client and you want to reserve like specific hours just for meetings. So for example, um, 10 a.m. So you'll put like meeting. And then to organize or categorize that uh, time block. So you'll just 
go here to the calendar and change that calendar to maybe for you you would put like client number one or VA or work so I'll just put let's say work stuff so meetings so I block that one for meetings and then another example let's say would let's just pretend I'm not flying next week so let's just ignore that one so for example I'm gonna just dedicate this time to shoot a video and then that's under the content creation calendar so um, save and then you can also drag um, depends on how long you want that to happen or how short so you can just drag like that and then you can do that one in your PC and mobile phone as well so that's an example of time blocking so if you want to see what it looks like for the week this is what it would look like um, that's how I would use my calendars to staying organized so next thing that is also very important is Google tasks and reminder you can also like um, schedule it based up, like within the time block that you've made so for example this one should how I use Google Calendar so I've added a task here under that um, time block so I've, uh, I've put shoot YouTube video so task is just something that I use when there's call to action because if I should if it's just time blocking I've just allotted it but I will I also want to make sure that I ticked it you know so um, I use Google task for call to action activities so for example um, shoot YouTube videos so I add the task so to add a task you just click somewhere and then click on task and then you just put like for example yeah um, shoot video for example so that's task and you can also organize all your tasks to be very organized I'll show you how you um, that's a different app for example in this task it's under social media plan let's say I'm already done shooting the video so I'll just click on that one and mark complete so there's call to action you know when you haven't completed the task that you've done yesterday it will notify on the on the current day as pending so for example I'm gonna put task here I just put test and then yeah so that's yesterday let's say I wasn't able to complete that one it will appear on the current day it will keep appearing on the day until you mark it as complete as pending tasks so it will always appear as pending tasks so you will always get reminded that there's a task that you weren't able to complete so you'll just click on that and let's say you know you've already completed it and then it's gonna disappear and then another thing is Google reminders so I use Google reminders for bills so for example credit card due so for example um, for you to add reminders you just have to click it's up to you if there's a specific time but I like to use reminders for like within the day so just click on the reminder and then let's say health insurance so that's um, all day and if you and if it's a and if it's an ongoing event you, you can just click on this one and then you can click on the monthly so daily or weekly or whatever so you can also repeat that one and then save so if there's multiple reminders in a day it will just remind it will just show us like this so two reminders so that is for the reminder so for reminder if you if there's a reminder that you haven't completed yet um, it will keep moving into the next day so for example you add a reminder here bills that's from yesterday and let's say yesterday I wasn't able to complete it it will move to the current day so it will keep moving to the current day and, and until you mark it as complete I read that all reminders will turn into Google tasks in the future so maybe just take a Google task so another thing that you can use for um, Google task is you can also organize your Google task so for example um, you can also just like access it on the side if you're using PC or laptop so you have the Google keep Google task here 
and then yeah so you can organize different tasks so in your pc or laptop you can just like create new lists so for example your task would be like self-care self-care tasks so you can just add specific tasks um, from there so we also have Google Calendar shortcuts so if you click on letter N it will go to the next week and then if you click on P it will go to the previous week D for day just like within the day W for the week M for the month so you can also um, just click on C to create an event like this that's just for event though but I what I do is I always still like click this one or like just go straight to the time to create an event so I can like pick between event task reminder so I can I can be more flexible with it and then to see more of the shortcuts you just have to type in the question mark and then it should show everything so that's how I use Google Calendar on the laptop or PC so let's go to how you use your Google Calendar on your phone. So the only thing I want to talk about in using Google Calendar on phone is adding a Google Calendar widget. So just um, look for a Google Calendar widget and add it to your homepage so you see it straight away. So I choose this one and then I just like put in where I can see it straight away. And then another one is I'll just um, swipe left to see the, another widget um, that's already there in, in the iPhone. Right, so that's it for um, this video on how I use Google Calendar to stay organized. I hope this video is very helpful for you for your um, everyday life or your work life. Please tag me if you have tried this guide. Um, like tag me in your IG stories or wherever. Um, just let me know if you did try this one. And also like this video for more organization videos. So if you have any organization video requests, just comment down below as well so I'll know um, what to make next time. And lastly, share this video to help others get organized as well. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful and instructive. I hope um, your life will be um, a little bit more organized after this. Bye!